Hello, it's Scott Manley here. Today, I am looking at a Derek Smart Simulation Universal Combat Collector's Edition 2.0, which is now available for free on Steam. Now, the original uh, Universal Combat was released over a decade ago, and it has been developed a little in the meantime, but Derek Smart has a, a long tradition of releasing his old games for free. And uh, this is the latest one. Apparently, it's being released to coincide with the origin, the 25th anniversary of the original Battle uh, Battle Cruiser 3000 AD concept. Now, Universal Combat. Well, it's supposed to be an everything in space simulator. You can command a whole starship with fighter wings and a crew and marines and things like that, or you can fly a little space fighter, jump out and run around the surface and shoot uh, things. In theory, all in theory, kind of let down by an interface which is um, impenetrable to say the least. But let's actually just go in and show a few examples. So I'm just going to create a new uh, game here. This is a Rome option. Now, of course, you can select a gender. Look, there we go. Um, I've got to, got to pick a name as well. I'll just call this Commander Scott. And for some reason, I've been using the caps lock key, probably because it's one of the myriad of keys assigned to do something here. We have all sorts of races you can pick. The Droiden, the Zelon. The Cradian, but I'm just going to pick Terran. Military, Commander, Launch from Earth, an Asset Class. I get a Super Carrier. Look at that. I get an epic Super Carrier. Um, yeah, that should be quite capable. I could come up with a name for it, but I can't figure out how to do that. So never mind. I'll accept it, and it gives me a bunch of different options here. So let's start with the tutorial. You have been assigned command of a battle group. Your objective is to engage and destroy the hostile insurgent ships located in Nevuela, Alpha Centauri. Refer to the tutorial docs for more info. This scenario has a running time of 24 hours. I'm going to accept it. Now, when they said refer to the docs, they're not kidding. This is from the old days of PC hardcore simulations. The game, by default, comes with a like a hundred page manual and you can access it by pressing alt h this is the original manual and there's hundred pages there's also appendices and stuff available here you have different control schemes for uh, flying small ships versus big ships versus running around versus flying over surfaces landing driving swimming uh, yeah I mean you have rules for mining their <laughs> first person mode there's all sorts of radar and EWAR, weapon systems. This is a whole bunch of random stuff. And uh, yeah, as I said, it has a lot of high um, goals, let's see. Let's say, but doesn't most people don't think it achieves them. There are a lot of hardcore fans that think this is amazing. And, you know, great. You know, I hope you're one of those fans. Uh, I have never actually played it before, so I'm just looking at it and talking about everything that I've heard on the internet. For example, it is said that if you uh, if you say Derek Smart's name three times, he will appear and uh, uh, you know tell you what you're doing wrong. I'm not even gonna risk that. Okay, so we have fleet command and control. So from here, I can uh, access my com link. Get all the information. I am I am an Omegaron heavy carrier and whatever. Do that. So we've been designed to do things. I can look at my logistics. Look, I have a your spacecraft on board. Oh wait, no, this is my uh, on various decks. I have various facilities. You know, if you're defending your ship, you need to know about this. I have cargo. Uh, cargo is of course very important because you're gonna you have a. Uh, medicine and medipack and nutripack. The reason why you need this is because if you look at your roster or say, you know, your systems engineers, fatigue factor, life factor, uh, marines, yet yeah, tells you what's going on here. Uh, the characters will, hold on, if you go to officers, your life factor, fatigue, artificial intelligence, you look, you get to see all of them. The pilots, they all have names. Scorpion, Nightwing, Hellraiser, Roamer, Lace, Rogue, Shadow, and Starfire. Uh, yeah, Mission Control, never mind that. Uh, we have the Navitron, so you can kind of see what's going on. And 
Yeah, every time I switch screen, the control scheme seems to switch. Uh, it is incredibly inconsistent. Largely, well, apparently because they're trying to maintain backwards kind of familiarity for fans of the Battle Cruiser games. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure it works, but it just certainly doesn't work for me, but that's okay. Look, we have Uranus and Neptune and all that. I have no idea if there's a button I can push to zoom in here because none of them seem to work. But that gives me an idea of where I'm going to go here. Uh, tactical... We can take a look at... Oh, yeah, look, hunger factor here. Now we find out on a completely different screen that my chief engineer is a little more hungry, but my comms officer has clearly uh, not been snacking while on the job. So I think uh, it'd be nice to tell her to go and get something to eat. Hey, it's a girl. It'd be nice to invite her for something to eat because, you know, there's never any time like a middle of a battle to have a romantic dinner for two, right? Retrieving the briefing. Okay, so we have a jump game here. We have like tons and tons of buttons to push. No idea what any of them do. Command. So I'm gonna give my command craft orders to jump at to Nevuela. There we go. So we're gonna enter this gate. I'm forming my wing and now jumping. So what do we got here? We have some external views. It looks like there's a spaceship there but I can't see it happening. There is a planet zipping by. Uh, yeah, this this game, uh, I guess it's about a decade old. I'm not sure if these graphics were really considered cutting edge a decade ago. You know, EVE Online, I think, had better graphics. But then again, uh, EVE Online, a lot of people were very impressed by its original graphics. Although they do look a little dated these days. Yeah, uh... Battle Cruiser 3000, when it was released, was supposedly pushed out early by the publishers and therefore ended up with tons of bugs. Uh, very similar to the way that, they, that Elite Frontier First Encounters came out with far too many bugs. Uh, and I believe it was actually the same publisher, Game Tech, that was involved in both cases. But in general, the, the games that Derek Smart has produced they have been incredibly ambitious and utterly impenetrable I think if you if you haven't read the manual you will find it incredibly hard to figure out what's going on as am I right now I have the manual you know sitting in front of me here I can see all these options and I think there might be a page somewhere which tells me all the key combos but Okay, we're getting a little closer now, and we can actually, uh, of course, come out and see the exterior view of this thing here. Approaching jump gate. Are we going to jump through, or... Oh, we're getting people saying jumping, approaching jump gate. This guy uh, is apparently the captain, or the commander. Okay, oh look, we have bad guys and stuff floating around here. Let's get moving. Cancel, let's move. Okay, now we gotta target some threats. Threat. No, there's. Where, where's the bad guys? How do we do this? Uh, 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 da, 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 da. You would think that would be straight ahead, but apparently I don't know how to read this. Maybe there's some other direction. Oh, oh what was that? Hostile target on the scope! Engaging! Where? Where are they? Oh, there's the Windstar. Let's see where he goes because. Presumably he'll know what to shoot at. I would... Look, I, I'm pointing my thing at it, I can see him, but when I point it here, they're not visible. They must be really far off. Either that or they are flying spaceships for ants. Okay. I don't know what just happened there, but these are my friends jumping in. That's what these flashes are. Command! Jump at... No, no. Command... Um... Minecraft orders, fly to enemy. Ah, yes. Uh, this one. Well, let's go there. Okay, so it's now going to fly towards them. Great. How fast is that? That doesn't seem very fast. Do I have to, like, time accelerate or something? Is there a hyperspace button? We have a map. We can select enemy. Standard orbit. Oh, there we go. That seems to be quite a ways away. Command craft or oh, hey wait. Current target. Uh, 
orders. Oh, I could launch this, these guys. Launch, launch, launch. Uh, orders. Uh, attack. Yes, I've sent my fighters out to do something, and they all talked at the same time, saying, there they go, flying off super fast. And I'm following them at last. Yes, I guess I was charging up my hyperdrive. That's what was going on there. So now we're going to get to this Type 11 station. I th I'm wondering if there's an external view. Um, is that the station or is that me? Interceptor the interceptor's launched. We can see backwards, forwards, right in front of us. Everything's gonna get going down here. There's a lot of waiting around in hyperdrive, I have to say here. Let's see what's going on with the command structure. Or my uh, fleet C and C objects and region. Man, there's there's so many menus within menus within menus. This is like the the menus are us. Fighters, fighters, fighters. Okay. I don't know what half of these things do, and I don't really have the time to read a several hundred page manual. But this game is free, so if this appeals to you, then you know totally go and give it a go. And and you know don't blame me if you find yourself a uh, you know wasting all your time on it. I mean, maybe do blame me, but, uh, you know, it's, oh, no, no, we don't want to do that. I'm just, I'm just going to log off and go back. Okay, we're apparently flying towards some sort of destination. It says two cent, wait, what's those weapons? Command, uh, base, the enemy, there, select that, that's my target. I don't know what these numbers are. I thought they might be distance, but clearly not. We're a long, long way away from the target. And I'm hearing shooting a long, long way off. Also, I'm hearing in the background what sounds like random chatter of a cocktail party. We're having a little reception to christen the new spaceship. We And uh, I got a little drunk and I said, Hey, let me take it out to Alpha Centauri and shoot some bad guys. You'll love it! Okay. Oh, no. There we go. Uh, can I f start flying in here? Oh, there. Yes, I get guns. Apparently, I'm not very, I'm not very close in yet. It full thrust, full thrust ahead. It says 55. Wait a second. What is this number? Am I even hitting this? Apparently not. My fighters are probably doing something. Maybe I can take the station by uh, by sending like shuttles over or something. Hold on. So what's what are the shuttle missions I can do here? Crew, SC4 crew. No. Apparently I've got no crew in them. Maybe there's a way to do that. Current target shuttles. Um, orders. Escort to no no I don't want to do any of that I thought I cannot uh, issue things oh there's my fighters there that's what these are and we still haven't got oh now my weapons don't work I'm not sure what's going on there because I had my weapons all assigned in the hope that they would do amazing amounts of damage but nope my weapons are bust perhaps I've wasted all my ammunition. Command craft currently it says systems tactical. That didn't help. I said systems tactical. Why won't you show me my tactical? T yeah, everything. Oh, possibly another one of these bugs, which the game has many. Shuttles. Let's hide that. See if that will change. Current target. Fighters. Orders. Attack. Okay. No. No, it's not going to give me buttons. Weapon systems are refusing to work. I bet. No, that doesn't work either. Let's just ram into the whole thing. Oh, there we go. Weapon systems, maybe? Yes! Aha! Now we've got in close enough. Now we can start da doing damage to this. Look at that. Oh, no. Uh, apparently, we're not hitting it anymore. Oh, there. No. Yes! just close enough to actually be doing some serious damage to it. I'm wondering how much firepower it will take for us to actually kill this thing. Ah, the shields are falling now. They cannot handle my epic firepower. 
There, look, we can actually see this thing from the outside. Next to the green planet of doom. Whatever that is. Look at the epic design on this battle cruiser here. Now, you got to remember, this is a big spaceship. This may look like a little spaceship, but it is, in fact, a uh, your battle cruiser capable of carrying your serious weapon systems and everything on board it. Let's just... Let's just put the firepower everywhere, spray the weapons liberally to ensure that everybody gets a taste of its wrath. Oh, its shields are sort of coming back online, but... Yes! Woo! Excellent! I have succeeded, I think. Look, here I am on some world. Oh, you've got people here. These are my pilots, I guess. I'm not sure. I, I'm sure I can order these guys around, or... Yeah, that's the seems easier. That's the more obvious thing to go to do here. Do I have a jetpack in this? No, apparently not. We get a little uh, flying shooting thing. Let's let's do this. Walk up. To, oh, yes, walk up. Jump in. Ah, there we go. Flying a little. Now figure out how to turn. Okay, let's see if the weapon systems work on this. Oh man, this is awful. This thing is very confusing. Okay, let's see if this works. Come on. The, the, the controls probably need a bit of work. Urgent message received. Stop shooting our people. I'm going to try and not shoot our people. Ah, there we got one. Excellent. Is there anything? Can I blow up one of these things? I have no idea. We have sky guards and stuff flying around here. Oh! There it goes. It... That's really interesting that it decided to take off into the air after I shot it for a while. I'm not even sure I targeted it. <laughs> mayday! Mayday! Taking hostile fire! Man, that's fun. Okay, so Z to come back down. There we go. And E to come out. Oh, look! Ah, there my team is going off to work there. So I think this is part of a scenario where they have to travel to like an enemy base and rescue someone and obviously all the way through it you're trying to coordinate, make sure they get enough food, make sure they use the bathroom often enough. Actually I'm not sure that's in there but to be honest I wouldn't put it past the developer who does like to have everything in his games. Ah there we go, yes Alt E, very difficult. Okay what is this here, we've got some sort of, uh, so I press again Control D. What is this like? Oh, this is... Ooh, look at that. Very high-tech looking thing here. We can turn it this way, take it for a ride. No weapons appear apparently on this, but maybe that's just the exterior view. I like the birds kind of just flying around in a flock, you know, looking for something to do here. Executing mission parameters. I'm not sure what those mission parameters are because I certainly didn't give you anything. Oh, where are these guys going? I wonder if I can fly. I'm trying to fly, but it is not wanting to. Oh, those guys are going off. Okay, so you get the idea. This is Universal Combat, a highly ambitious game from about 10 years ago, which has more than its fair share of bugs. It has an impenetrable user interface, a manual the size of a doorstop, but hey, uh, I guess a lot of people do actually, you know, are, are big supporters of this. It is free on Steam. And I believe it is multiplayer as well, so you and your friends can experience the infamy of this uh, overreaching title. I mean, you know, respect the developer for releasing it for free and for, you know, keeping ambitious and pushing, trying to push the boundaries in the face of everybody uh, doubting the developer over his uh, career. I'm not Derek Smart. Fly safe.